Yes, I came right over. Yes, I'm here. I said I would be here. What seems to be the problem? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need you to calm down a little bit. Okay. All right. Yes, that's better. Now what seems to be the problem? Okay. Well, we discussed this. I know you don't entirely believe me, but there's no one out there trying to control your life. There's no one out there trying to do anything to you. Well, yes, I understand that, yes. I see, yes. Well, as you know, you are not one of my court-appointed clients. You came in to see me on your own. I'm fully aware of the fact that you believe that some sort of mysterious group is monitoring your life and influencing it. Yes, yes. Well, no, no. Yes, yes, no. Honestly, you are literally my most functional patient. But I'm guessing something happened earlier in the day. That's why you asked to see me at your home. Normally, I don't make house calls, but... Well, yes, I understand, yes, your new wallet, uh, sure, I could take a look at that for you. I see. Yes. Well, there's nothing wrong with buying a brand new wallet. Wallets, like most things in life, they, they get old. They get worn out. When the stitching starts to fray or they start to fall apart, it's usually a good idea to replace them with a new wallet. Clearly that's what you did. Yes. Very nice leather. Very nice stitching. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. You want me to examine it more closely. All right, I can do that. But you still haven't told me what this is about. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. Very nice leather. This is clearly a quality wallet. and closes very easily. Very nice stitching, although I'm a little surprised they went with this color combination. Oh, you bought it online and you specifically asked for it. I see. So they made the wallet 
after you ordered it, not before. Okay. So it's a set pattern, but they can make it in different colors with different stitching. I see. Uh, yes. Well, it's a very nice color. Yes. I'd say it's a dark green or forest green. Very nice. Very nice. But you still haven't told me what the issue is. The color. The color is the issue. Well, I'm sure if you contact them, they might be willing to refund your money. After all, it's a very nice wallet. Maybe if you're willing to select a different color, I'm sure they can make you one. The wallet I carry is saddle tan in color. It's also leather. It's quite good looking. But as far as this color goes, I mean, obviously it's not for every. I'm sorry, could you please repeat that? I see. So you came home. You arrived. This was on your doorstep. In a mailer. You opened it up and you were disappointed because this forest green wallet that you ordered was brown. Okay, I'm a little confused. Clearly this is a forest green wallet with a bit of yellowish stitching. Yes. Well, obviously we're both seeing the very same color. I see. So you did order this wallet in forest green, but when you opened it several hours ago, it was brown. You put it aside on your desk. You planned on contacting the seller and letting them know that they sent you the wrong color. But then you were feeling tired, so you went to bed. You woke up about five hours later. You sat down at your desk, and all of a sudden, the brown wallet was forest green as it is now. Yes, I see. Well, I did promise you honesty, and I've always kept my word to you. Perhaps you were exhausted. Perhaps it was a trick of the light. Well, yes, I'm fully aware of the fact that you believe that there is some sort of mysterious organization out there monitoring and influencing your life. Yes. Well, no, I'm not agreeing with you. I am saying that it is clear that you believe that such an organization exists. Yes. Yes. I see. 
So, this mysterious organization, sometimes uses their mysterious powers to, I see, so you believe that the seller did accidentally send you a brown leather wallet with white stitching and somehow after you fell asleep this mysterious organization changed the color of your wallet and the stitching to the colors that you ordered from the seller. Yes. All right. Well, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that you sound crazy. No, I didn't say that at all. I do believe, though, that perhaps because you were exhausted when you opened the packaging, the wallet looked as though it was the wrong color. Then, after you got some sleep and you were well rested, you took a look at it again and it was the proper color. Yes. Oh. That mysterious buzzing sound. Well, yes, I asked the landlord about it. Apparently, that's just the furnace switching on, and it should stop in short order, like it usually does. I see. You believe the sound is from some sort of machine that this mysterious organization is using to induce stress and depression in your mind. Yes. Well, I'm a little confused because, quite frankly, any organization capable of changing color would probably have a quieter machine. And there we go, it switched off. It switched off when I started talking about it, which proves that you're correct. Okay, I just told you that your landlord mentioned that it's the furnace and it goes off for maybe a minute or two and then switches off. That's what happened in this case. Yes, yes. You want me to take a look at your wallet again, okay? I mean, as you can see, what color are you seeing? Yes, green. I'm also seeing green. I understand that you've been under a great deal of stress this past week. I understand that. I think the stress is starting to affect you. No not the stress from their machine. Actual stress. Now, as you know, I'm not a professional psychiatrist. I can't prescribe any drugs for you to take. 
but it's clear to me that you need rest. Now, if something similar like this happens again, don't hesitate to call me, and once again I will come straight over. Well, yes, yes, I admit, you are different than my other patients, even the ones who voluntarily started seeing me. Just let me know if this happens again. All right, try to get as much rest as you can. I will speak to you very soon.